Hello, statistics students. Mr. Cruzado here. Uh, this is question number three from the practice test, which is called a matched pairs problem. So a manager wishes to see if there's a time, if the time in minutes it takes for workers to complete a certain task will change when they are allowed to wear earbuds at work. A random sample of 10 workers times were collected before and after wearing earbuds. Assume the data is normally distributed and all conditions have been met. So this is a matched pair. Sometimes we call this the pre-test and the post-test. Um, so we have a before and after. So we're going to grab our calculator and we're going to press stat, edit, and we're going to type the data into list one and list two. So go ahead and uh, type in the data into list one and list two. So after you type in the data, make sure that there are no uh, data entry errors. So double check them. Then scroll over to list three and go all the way to the top. And we're interested in the differences. So we're going to press second L2 minus second and the number one. And notice at the bottom of the screen, we have L2 minus L1 and press enter. What this means is the first worker took two minutes less to complete the task. The second worker took 12 minutes less to complete the task and so on. And we need to calculate a confidence interval. So press second quit. We're going to press stat, move over to test. We're going to press number eight. We have the data. And this time we want to look at L3. So we're going to press second L3 in case that isn't in there. And it does say 98% confidence. So 0.98 there. We're going to move down to calculate and press enter. And let's write those numbers down. Negative 8.663, negative 2.137. Let's write down the average, negative 5.4. Standard deviation, 3.6576. And is the sample size 10. So when we go to write this in our my open math, the confidence interval right here where I have green, that is the confidence interval, negative 8.663, negative 2.137. And remember, a confidence interval could always be written as x bar plus or minus t star s divided by the square root of n. So from our calculator, we knew the average was negative 5.4. We're going to go to our Google Sheet. So grab the Google Sheet. And let me hit pause while I grab that. So on the Google Sheet here, our sample size was 10. Our confidence level was 0.98. And when you do that, You'll see the yellow box. The T star is 2.8214. So going back to our my open math, the T star is 2.8214. And then in this box, the standard deviation from the calculator, if you remember, it's right there on the screen, the S, 3.65. So it's 3.65. 6576 six, divided by the square root of the sample size, which was 10. So then you could say, I am 98% confident that the true mean difference in time to complete the task is between, and we're going to use the green numbers, negative 8.663 and negative 2.137. What that means is when they were wearing earbuds, their time decreased somewhere around negative 8.6 minutes and negative 2.13 minutes. And then we want to look at these conclusions. Um, so if I read these, I'm going to label these A, B, C, D. Since this interval does not capture zero, that interval does not capture zero, so A is a possibility. B, since this interval captures zero, well, that's not true. C, since the interval captures zero, that's not true. D, since the interval does not capture zero, well, that's a contender. So now I need to read each problem a little more detailed. Part A, since the interval does not capture zero, there is reason to believe that wearing earbuds changes a worker's performance. If you look at part D, since this interval does not capture zero, which is true, there is no reason to believe. Well, since it misses zero, there is a reason, so the correct answer here is letter A. Hope you found this video helpful.